All right, so the first thing you wanna do is obviously create an account on glideapps.com. So you can head to glideapps.com, create an account, it's totally free. And once you do, you'll be greeted with a dashboard that looks something like this. So you'll have you know projects, templates, etc. on the left. But what we want to focus on is this button right here where it says new project. So we click that and we want to select Glide Page instead of Glide App. Glide App is more mobile focused, whereas Glide Page is more web focused. They generally have the same sort of features and stuff. So um, you can pick either or, and they're both pretty responsive. So it's not a, uh, a fatal decision if you pick the wrong one. But let's pick glide page and we're going to rename it so we're just going to call this one design on demand on demon of course <laughs> on demand app you can call it whatever you want and then we click continue and what it's going to do now is going to ask us for a source of information or where do we want to store the data from our app so you can pick a number of different things you can pick google sheets so it'll store all the data in a google sheet you can pick Airtable, Excel, but in this case, we're gonna just leave it as Glide Tables. It's their native integrated database. It's a little bit snappier in terms of performance. And whenever you can get an upgrade in performance without losing any kind of functionality, you always wanna opt for that. So we're gonna go with Glide Tables and we click Create Project. Now, what it's gonna do in the background is it's gonna load in some demo information, some demo data, so you can kind of visualize what your app might look like. Now, we want a clean slate because we don't want any of this data that they've imported as demo data. So what we wanna do is just spend a little bit of time now clearing out the application so we have a nice uh, clean slate to build our application from. So. We'll head over to the left here and we'll just delete this page. We'll delete this page. Now, Glide Apps requires you to have at least one page and a user profile. So we have the page here and a user profile. So since we can't delete this, we're just gonna rename it to dashboard. dashboard and we're gonna get rid of this interface item. So we've kind of cleaned it out. The next thing we wanna do is um, now that we've cleaned out the design or the layout, we want to clean out the data or the back end. So we head to the data editor and we want to delete this table of things. And although we'll be adding categories as a table in the future, I like to start from fresh. And so we'll delete that. The last thing we want to do here is leave the users table because this is where we're going to store our users and it already exists it's already got the role there uh the the sorry the row owner there but what we do want to do is just delete these demo users and as you can see we want to view the app not as the person we just deleted but as ourselves so you can see here we've got name email photo and role now we'll adjust all of that later we don't need to do anything here now so we've cleaned out the data editor, we've cleaned out the interface. What I want to do now is, it's optional, but I'm a little bit OCD. So what I want to do is change and tweak the appearance of the app so it's on brand and I feel like I can visualize what the app will become. I certainly don't want this pink uh, navigation bar in my app. So what we want to do is head to settings and we want to just leave it on the appearance tab and we want to select a different color. So you can select from their preset colors or you can add a custom color. And in this case, I'm just gonna add this uh, random purple color, which I quite like. The other thing is we don't, you wanna use color sparingly. You wanna use color to draw attention to things. If there's color everywhere, it kind of has no effect on the user. They don't really know where to focus. So what we wanna do is change the style from accent to light. And then we can use the color um, strategically as we build out the app. Everything else we can leave. Um, you can set the position of the navigation to the left-hand side. I prefer to leave it at the top. It's what people are used to and it makes the most sense. The last thing we wanna do here is just change the name and icon. So the name of the app is what we set earlier. 
Now we want to change the icon. This is what's going to show up when people download your application to their desktop or to their mobile phone. So we want to change it to whatever you want. And then we want to add a little logo and this is going to show up in the nav bar. So we just click logo and we add the happy little low code smiley computer guy. And I only want to show the logo in the title bar. I just think it's a little bit cleaner. We can add a description. So this is a design on demand app. You could probably get a little bit more creative than that, but this is just for educational purposes right now. Now the rest we can leave. We don't really need to touch anything actually. Um, but what I will do is just show you the privacy tab. Now we're gonna keep this application private and we're gonna only allow users in our user table to log in. So if their email is in that user table, they'll be able to log in and use a one-time password to um, enter the app. And they're the only people that are gonna have access. So it's quite secure. We don't need to change anything else there. But other than that, you can customize all this other stuff later, um, but this is all we really need to get started. So we've created the app, we've cleaned it out, and we've customized it a little bit. The next thing we wanna do is add the various different tables in the data editor that are gonna form the back end of our application. So let's get onto that now. If you enjoyed that video or you found it useful, then I highly suggest you subscribe and hit the bell icon because I have a ton of low-code videos and tutorials in the pipeline for you. And if you like the idea of becoming a low-code developer who can create anything their mind can imagine without code, head to lowcode.com and sign up for one of our online boot camps. See you next time.